there's no doubt that people with strong personalities can come across as intimidating and even off-putting to others. This is especially true when you're surrounded by folks with weak personalities, people who are more at ease with letting things be. These days, it's very easy to give in to one's insecurities. That's why being around someone like you, who always seems so sure, steady and strong can be especially frustrating for insecure people. You're an outlier, which makes you the odd one out of a lot of people. If that's true for you, you don't have to be concerned about coming across as arrogant or intimidating. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be in charge of your own destiny. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be able to control everything that occurs to you. You don't have to be like other individuals who are willing to roll with the punches and join the herd just because they find it convenient. You don't have to be content with watching others live their lives. You're a star player who constantly wants to be involved in the action. You want to be able to always control the outcome of your own life and you shouldn't have to apologize for it. So how can you tell whether you have this personality? type. How do you know if you can make the weak and insecure people around you feel threatened? Here are a few telltale signs that you have a dominant personality and are easily intimidated by those around you. Number 1. You are very picky about who you let into your life. It's not that you're simply antisocial. It's just the people that you choose to let into your life with are quite select. You are a staunch believer that not everyone you meet in life should be a part of it. You know that there are some people who are naturally toxic, who would just weigh you down. You understand that the connections that add value to your life are the ones to which you should devote your time and energy. Not everyone is worth your time, and you know it. Number 2. You want to try new things and take on new challenges. You understand that true development and growth takes place outside of your comfort zone. That's why you're always on the lookout for new adventures. That's why you always take on new challenges since you know it's the only way you'll improve as a person. You exude power where others tremble, and this might make the insecure people around you feel fidgety. In their eyes, you are an overachiever or self-centered. Know that at the end of the day, all that matters is your own sense of achievement and well-being, not what slackers might think of you. Number 3. You are a good listener and have strong opinions. People with intimidating personalities are known for their strong opinions. Others will not be able to easily persuade you to modify your views. You always consider all options and base your decisions on facts and reasoning. You enjoy debating important issues with others and sharing your points of view. Despite your strong opinions on an issue, you are not close-minded. You are receptive to new ideas and experiences. Before establishing an opinion, you question everything. When you meet someone who has a different mindset, you don't dismiss them or be rude in any manner. You treat people who believe and feel differently than you with respect. You have a white outlook and you are confident enough in your own principles to know that you will always be able to defend them against those who want to interact with you. But you're also modest enough to realize that there's always more to learn and that admitting you're wrong isn't something to be embarrassed of. You are always interested in hearing what other people have to say to learn from them. You know Know that being wrong isn't something to be embarrassed about, rather it's a chance to learn something new and improve yourself. Number 4. You are persistent. Do you regularly set goals for yourself and then work tirelessly to meet them? If you do, congratulations! You have an ability that 90% of folks just can't develop. Your persistence and never say never attitude can be intimidating to others and is an indication of a forceful personality. Regardless of what people think of you, persistence is a positive attribute. It just demonstrates that you know what you want out of life and are willing to go the extra mile to get it. It also shows that you are confident in your abilities, so keep up the good work and intimidate them. Number 5. You don't put up with deliberate ignorance. You are considerate of other people's viewpoints and, on occasion, ignorance. You'll always encourage kids to learn just as you attempt to learn new things yourself. Willful ignorance, on the other hand, is something that people with intimidating personalities absolutely despise. They can't hold a conversation with stupid people who are not interested in increasing their knowledge of the world. You simply have no patience for folks who prefer to keep things as they are and are unwilling to develop and progress. You think that the desire to grow is what 
ultimately makes or breaks a person. Number six, you have a strong moral compass. Do you place a premium on honesty? Do you always follow through on your promises once you've made them? These are all indicators of a strong moral code as well as an intimidating personality because not everyone holds ethical values as high as you do. This trait makes you extremely threatening to others. You are dependable, honest, and loyal. Lying is never an option for you. You are always adamant about acting on your convictions and no one could persuade you to do something you don't believe is right. And you have no issues in letting the cheaters and grifters know that you have exactly zero respect for them. Number 7. You don't seek other people's approval or attention. This is one of the most prominent and vital characteristics in people with intimidating personalities. They aren't the type to go out of their way to satisfy others. They don't do anything just for the sake of gaining acceptance or attention from others. It's a good sign that you're self-assured and self-sufficient. Regardless of what other people think of you, you attempt to do the right thing. Although most people thrive on other people's attention, you don't require it and you don't even understand why other individuals are willing to do a lot of stupid things for a little attention. Number 8. You are a strong leader. Even though you thoroughly consider everything, you are quite decisive and hate wasting time on endless deliberation. You are more likely to make up your mind fast and stick to your decision. You gather all the facts and make a conclusion without wasting time debating your options. You believe in your reasoning and talents to make sound decisions, and you find it annoying when people waste time deliberating. With this self-assurance in decision-making comes the boldness to take calculated risks and lead others. Number 9. You tell it like it is. Your directness is what worries others the most about you. You simply say what's on your mind, no sugarcoating or hesitancy. It's not rude to speak your mind without skirting the difficult issues. When speaking honestly, you just want to make sure you're being considerate and productive. There's a distinction to be made between being direct and being cruel. Intimidating personalities aren't malicious. They simply don't see the value in ignoring the facts. Number 10. You're not a big fan of small talk. Small talk is certainly something you despise if you have a strong personality. It's a waste of your time. You enjoy having deep, meaningful discussions on major issues. You are unlikely to discuss the weather or the most recent TV show. If someone insists on engaging you in such pointless chit-chat, you may grow irritated. You find small talk excessively embarrassing for you. You don't give a damn whether some actor had a messy divorce or two or colleagues are hooking up and having to discuss these things gives you a headache. Number 11. You don't accept or make excuses. Since you have a strong personality, are persistent, and are open to lifelong learning and new experiences, you don't make excuses for your failures. As a result, you refuse to accept them from others. If you make a mistake or fail, you try your hardest to set it right and do everything you can to succeed. You don't sit around whining. You don't expect anything less from others either. You understand that where there is will, there is a way. And you always want individuals to admit when they've made a mistake because that's the first step toward fixing them. If these traits describe you or someone you know, keep in mind that, while intimidating personalities may appear threatening, they are not cruel at heart. They make no attempt to exert any kind of control over others. It's just that they can't help but become curious and frustrated when they see others wearing masks. Your life has been marked by stress with many ups and downs in your profession and relationships, transforming you into a more independent and stronger person. As a result, you don't come off as soft any longer. because the way you act and react around others, you may be misunderstood as unpleasant and cruel. What most people don't realize is that beneath this tough guy exterior, you have a tender side. People that appear to be frightening are actually nice people with a huge heart. This brings today's video to an end. Do you think you are an intimidating person? Do you get along well with intimidating personalities? Or do they make you uncomfortable? Do let us know in the comments down below. We hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. We will see you in our next video. Till then, take care. Ciao!